This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash ev9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real-life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award-winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Postmortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. In today's episode, did I post the episode yesterday? Hold on for a second. I, I got I to gotta see some things real quick because I don't feel like I posted the episode yesterday. Oh, no, I did. I must have posted it like early, early in the morning. Yeah, I think I posted it like early, early in the morning because for a second, I, I, I forgot. I was all like, nah, bro, it, didn't, it just didn't feel like it, you know? And so that's it, usually I get that feeling when I like post an episode like midnight and like right when the day starts, then yeah, that's when I'm, you know, I it'll be halfway through the day and I'm all like, wait a second, did I remember? So I did, all right. But anyways, um, no, it's actually crazy. The last episode that I did where I was talking on uh, Trump, um, Derek Ch- uh, Chavin and Kyle Rittenhouse, Derek Chavin was actually, um, he he got badly injured. I'm gonna just say that he got badly uh, injured um in prison and there hasn't been no updates on his condition but um yeah i was like that's that's some crazy stuff and i'm like i you know that's something where it's just you know you don't you don't think it'll happen and then when you hear some stuff that went down and i'm like yeah it was some crazy information and things but that's not what this episode is about I, it's just a complete like um 180 of where i was going with this uh podcast episode you guys would look at the title and be all like fam what is you talking about i ain't got nothing to do with the title but anyways no yeah so getting on with the uh episode no i wanted to talk on this tweet that i saw where a woman went on and said that a man let me see if i could find the exact tweet on what she said because i had it open up on my other computer and i'm like nah bruh it's one of those things that it's like you you yeah she goes on to say Every man should go through a heartbreak at least once in their life. And I'm thinking to myself, fam, nobody should have to go through a heartbreak. Because I'm saying it's like, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you got to ask, why am I going through this? Like the emotional ride that you go through when you done went through a heartbreak. Because fam, I done went through two, two. So I ain't went through two lifetimes in a heart of a heartbreak. It's how that, bruh, I don't even know the words I'm trying to say right now. It's 1 a.m. That, But that's how confusing that tweet is. When stuff confuses me, it confuses my brain. It confuses my English. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. So, yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like, fam, when you done brought that out of me, that's a confusing tweet. For the most part, I, I usually can understand when somebody is giving me directions or if they're asking for something or if they're just straightforward with whatever they're saying. They're all like, hey, can I have a cup of or can I have a, um, some of your water? I'm most likely going to say no because I don't be sharing my water like that. I don't share nothing. They're all like, oh, what's the weather going to be like today? Think it's going to be uh, raining. You see them rain clouds in the distance? Yeah, probably in a couple hours they're going to be over here and stuff. But when you say some things like every man deserves to go through a heartbreak at least once in their life, why? For what reason? Why Why does it? Because that's it's those types of things where it's like there's there's questions that need to be asked. And that's probably the main question is why. Because I don't think man, woman, dog, cat, pet rock, nobody deserves to go through a heartbreak. Not one form of life on planet Earth. I can't speak for other planets, but I'm just going to say for planet Earth, no, there should be no reason why a person should go through a heartbreak. And like I said, I went through two, and I'm like, fam, it's, it's moments in my life where 
I wish I didn't go through it, but at the same time, it, and it, the thing is, it's like, it changed me, but like for a good and bad, I guess, lifestyle, you know, to where it's like, I really don't want to be bothered with people, but also at the same time, it really had lowered my trust with people, and I think, yeah, you know, you shouldn't be as trusting um, towards people with your emotions and your feelings and all that stuff, but at the same time, it's like, I shouldn't have to get hurt. You know, it should just be something that's just told to me, you know, and it's like, and it's stuff like that where it's because that's usually what comes with heartbreaks. It's just life lessons. And when you think of those life lessons, it just, it makes you angry. It makes you depressed. It makes you go, like I said, through a like roller coaster of emotions, bro. Like I, I could tell you the first time when I went to, hold on, let me turn my, uh, um, light my content, because I got a uh, light that I use for when I'm making videos and stuff, and I was like, that light, it was just beaming and things, felt like I had the sun in here and stuff, so, but anyways, when I went through uh, my first um heartbreak, it was back when I was in high school, and I think a lot of you guys already know this story, but for those that are new to my podcast, I will be telling this story again, I don't think a lot of you guys would mind, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't want to go through a bunch of episodes trying to find the last time when I talked on this, so that's why I'm like, yeah, there'll be at times where I'm going to repeat myself throughout my podcast, so yeah, if you guys already know this story, you just I'll try to be quick about it, so I'm not like, for those that have already have heard this story, but yeah, so anyways, back when when I was in high school, um, I actually had met this girl when I was in middle school, but I didn't really start like gaining. I not, I you know what? No, I've always I had I had always had feelings for her ever since I had met her and stuff. Like she was somebody where I was like, no, we gotta be partners when we doing like projects and all that stuff. Like, I'm sitting next to you in class. I'm always gonna be talking to you, texting each other day and night every day. I was like, this is somebody where I'm like, nah, fam. I need more of this, all right? I need this even from, like, after. Because when you think about it, with a lot of your uh, friends that you go to school with, you ain't going to keep in contact with a lot of them. You're going to probably keep in contact with maybe a few of them. But over maybe, like, that friend group that you overall have. But I'm like, fam, I don't even keep in contact with my friend group. Like, the ones that I was sitting at the lunch table with. So that's why I'm like, fam, you, you know, when you have, like, something good in your life, you want to get a hold of that. You want to, like, keep that forever and stuff. So that's what I was overall thinking. Was thinking all wrong. So, yeah, high school came around. I finally, like, built up. It was, like, years, bro. Years of just built up courage to finally, like, you know, ask her out and things. I remember going all around the lunchroom looking for her just to see her holding hands with another guy. So that was like a clear indication that, yeah, relationship. And then I was all like, and I don't know why. I think I asked her just for a confirmation. I was like, you really in a relationship? And then, uh, yeah, she was all like, yeah, and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, at that point, I just, I remember that night, I just broke down in tears and started crying. Because it's like, when you have, and that's something where I'm like, fam, nobody should have to go through that. Nobody. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like I am partially to blame because I'm like, fam, I should have asked her out a lot sooner and stuff. At least I would have had my answer a lot earlier and things. But yeah, it was just one of those things where I'm all like, fam, I I wish I wouldn't have went through that. You know, it's like, it's things like that. It's like, you just wish you never would have met the person in the first place. Cause I'm all like, fam, it's like, it ain't like you change. Cause after all of that, my thing is, is this, I changed to the point where others had noticed my change. Like, I remember it wasn't too long ago, and it's just who I've adapted to just being, where it's like, I'm, because I remember, fam, like, before that, like, bruh, I would be off up in classrooms, loud and proud, I'll be hanging out with my family, loud and proud, like, I was just everywhere, I was the life of the party, I was the life of the get-together, always having fun, always, like, you know, just, just doing stuff, right? After something like that, changed my whole life. It's like you, because my thing is, is this, it's like you're trying to be that person, but it's like you just got that depression like running through your system to where it's like you can no longer be that person. Like that person that I once was, gone. Don't know where he's at. And I'm like just off somewhere in the distance. Every time I think I'm getting closer to him, it just gets further and further away and things. So that's when it's like you have to live with what you got and i'm like fam like this this ain't who i wanted to be in the f I, I never wanted to be i wanted to be the same person that i was when i was a kid i feel like if i was the same person i was when i was a kid i'm like i think i would be well like just more further more in the process of being accomplished now i'm at right now 
And so, yeah, it was just one of those things where I was like, but no, it, it just really, it shut me out from the world and stuff. Like it just, it really changed my perspective on life. It changed my perspective on relationships. It just changed my perspective on a lot of different stuff. All right. I'm over here listening to Waka Flocka Flame like it was a religion just so I can remotely, because it was like when you, my thing is this, when you're going through it and then you start listening to some sad music, bruh bad combo okay and extremely usually i say like you know um like you know negatives and positives they don't equal uh positives and you know uh negatives and negatives and positive and positives fam listening to you know sad music and then also like feelings um like sad and depressed and all that stuff that's just gonna equal a negative all right, you just adding a negative on top of more negatives. Cause I'm like, fam, that it's it's not gonna help. It ain't gonna help you get through nothing. It ain't gonna help. So yeah, I was fam. When I tell you guys, like I was doing everything in my power to feel better, bro. Cause I'm I'm telling you, it was. I think a lot of people, like I said, it no, it like not even. I think I know a lot of people had noticed the change in me and things. And so, anyways, but yeah, it was just something where I'm like, I wish I hadn't gone through that. You know, it's something where I'm all like, that's. That's something where it's, you know, and the, and the messed up part about it is that then with the second time around, it was like, I it's something where I just feel that I shouldn't have to, like, care. So the day when I do, do you know, like, find, like, the one that, you know, ain't gonna be out here breaking hearts and stuff, it's like, I don't want her to feel that she has to, because I feel like that's gonna probably be something that's um gonna get discussed, where it's like, she asked me, like, have I ever had my heart broken before? And I'm gonna be flat out honest with her, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I have, twice. And I'm all like, it was, it was a tough thing, and I don't want her to feel like she has to be this above and beyond girlfriend, wife, significant other, because, uh, you know, she doesn't hurt my personal life and things. I feel like whatever she wants to bring to the table, she should be able to um, bring that. No problems, no strings attached, not, um, nothing. But it's like, I just feel, I just have a strange feeling that it's like, whoever it is that I am going to be with, she, you know, hopefully she's like, yeah, she hears this episode, and then she's all like, okay, like, he don't want no above and beyond, over the top stuff. And then it's going to make it seem like that I'm just like, I don't want nothing. And I'm like, nah, it's like, you know, Know, like we we can like be equal in the relationship and you know do things for one another and stuff be there for each other you know shoulder to um to uh lean on and all that stuff cry on lean on however that saying goes but no nah, it's just i don't want her to feel like you know it just be on like some random tuesday afternoon and stuff and she feel like she needs to like go above and beyond i'm like nah you ain't gotta do all that like i'm i'm fine but yeah it's just you know i'm i'm, I'm just a, a a tad bit different you know it's like i'm I, but i don't think i think a lot of people they just you know i met more people um or at least like i'm chill with more people um with the person i am right now than somebody that like knew me you know years ago and stuff and was like you know grew up with me and went to school with me and things and so anyways um and then yeah then the second time around it was because like no so actually going back to the first time around so the first time around it just really just shut me out from a lot of people i was anti-social didn't really want to conversate well i mean like yeah if it was like talking with friends and stuff i'm like all right cool but it was like other than that like relationship wise it was like i didn't want to go through that again so it just straight traumatized me to where i'm like i don't ever want to go through that type of stuff again so i just kind of just shut myself out from the world having it where it'd be like um you know a few times where like uh women told me like yeah they have feelings for me but i'm like me being caught up in my mind and i'm kind of regretting it now because i'm like fam it's like something good could have came out of that but at the same time i'm like i'm going through my stuff and i really don't want to bring that into a relationship and things and so yeah it's just it's somewhere i was like you know i felt like i was looking out for others but at the same time i feel like i kind of just slowed down like who i you know should have became a long time ago and stuff i don't know it's just it, it's just it's weird you know it's just it's a weird uh feeling like just of like what i got going through me and stuff because you know getting on to the next heartbreak and i'm like yeah because i'm like one like if you saying one then it's like you know maybe just maybe because i'm like i probably would have grew up out of that stuff a long time ago but i'm like when you deal with it again like literally some like back-to-back -back type stuff where it's like Okay, so, it, you know, the first heartbreak, it happens, put me in this spiral to where I'm like, I don't want to really be associated with nobody. I finally built the confidence to, like, you know, get back into the scene. I meet somebody. A few years later, literally the same scenario, just in an adult version, bruh. And I'm thinking to myself, fam, 
why why is it me that has like the worst of luck when it comes to relationships i'm thinking to myself like fam i'm that guy where i'm like i want to make the relationship work out you know and it's crazy because the first girl the first girl that did the whole heartbreak situation stuff back when i was in high school and i'm like not trying to put her on um, personal business on blast but at the same time i'm like fam she done you know had like a lot of relationships that ended you know badly because i think though i can't remember what happened to the one guy that i saw i just remember they her and the one guy that i saw holding hands with each other they broke up for some reason and then uh this other guy that was there i feel like there was another guy she was fooling around with and i don't know anyways but then there was the one that i was cool with and uh he had um i think he was like talking to other girls or some stuff like that and then um i remember because i there was another time this was like this was like years later i remember because we had like a mutual friend that i'm still chill with to this day and so i think i had asked her i was just like oh you know how has she been at the stuff because it had been a while since i had talked to her and things and then um i think i think it was that friend it might have been somebody else but anyways regardless um, no, so then, uh, they told me that, yeah, she was engaged, but then the engagement was called off, and then now she's, um, uh, then I remember that, I think the last time I talked to her, she was telling me how, like, she had switched sides, and now she's dating women and stuff, and I'm all like, dang, I'm like, I, that's something, and you know, part of me wants to, you know, like, if I, because I'm telling you, if this would have been, like, a much more younger me, where I'll say some ruthless stuff, and I don't care about how a person feels, a part of me would have been like, dang, you haven't been through all those relationships, meanwhile, you rejected me, and this like we possibly would have still been in a relationship today i'm like i'm not that type of person that's gonna be unfaithful i'm gonna respect you i'm gonna respect the relationship and i'm trying to think to myself like you turn me down because i'm black i'm like fam you have literally my thing is is this all right i've seen this girl she is dated a white guy she's dated like like the same race but in different shades and stuff i'm thinking to myself i'm like fam you literally dated a hispanic guy where it's all like he probably on the like level of like shadeness that this man has in his race that's probably the level of shadeness that i have in my race like i feel like we were the same shade just different races and stuff if anything he probably was darker than me but i'm all like fam what i'm all it, it's one of those things where i'm like i it, it just doesn't make sense but i'm like hey i wish you the best in life you just won't be hearing from me no more all right so and then uh yeah then with the second person i was all like yeah it was just you know same thing like i said same thing all over again just in an adult form and you know tears um you know the, like, definitely the yeah the tears was brought out depression was brought out all that stuff and then again changed my perspective on life and i'm like i hate being in that mindset so i'm like it's one of those things where i'm like a man shouldn't have to go no man man whether you know that man is a kid or uh do you know an adult like you above the age because i know there's like you know there'll be like those uh, like, those, like, uh, like, kids, they, like, they're the man in the house, or, you know, they just be on some little where, just something, you know, kid, like, a, like, no, no, no guy, okay, like, okay, because I was, like, I was, I got myself confused, but I was, like, no guy in this world should have to go through that, all right, under any circumstances, regardless of age, regardless of whoever and whatever they are and stuff, no man should ever have to go through that, I'm like, nobody should have to go through it, man or woman. But yeah, I was like, to that girl, I'm like, no man should have to go through that. Because all, all it does is just puts us in a mindset where I was like, fam, there was at one point, I remember with the second um, time around, where I was jealous of, uh, like, no, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, I was flat out jealous of, like, you know, people's relationships. I'll be, and even it would be like on some like fictional stuff on like TV and things. Like it'll be a TV show or a movie. And I'm all like, man, I'm not watching this. I'm like, this is stupid. Prior before, fam, I'll watch a romantic movie and be all like, oh, dang, that's crazy. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's dope. I'm all like, you know, like watching it. I'm enjoying it. All right, fam, I was like, it was at one point in time where I was like, I didn't even want, like, want to watch, like, romantic movies. Anybody be talking about, like, how they in a relationship on social media. I just keep scrolling. Don't even bother to, like, like it or, you know, become it. Like, it'll be somebody be like, oh, I just got engaged. Most of the time, I would say, like, congratulations, all that stuff. I was like, at one point, I was just like, nope. 
scroll, don't care, don't bother to see it, I was like, just, matter of fact, I'm like, not interested, I was like, yeah, it just, it really, it really just puts you in a mindset where it's all like, yeah, I don't, I don't like that mindset, because I'm like, it just, it puts me in a mindset where I'm not thinking right, you know, and so it's like, I don't want to go through life thinking in a negative way, because I'm not that type of person, so it's just, it's one of those things where I'm like, I, overall, at the end of the day, I know everybody's going, you know, well, not everybody, but I just know that there's going to be people in this world that got their preferences on who they want to be with and all that stuff. I'm, I'm saying this because I'm all like, I really don't care about how people feel about it and stuff. If you have somebody good, okay, in your life and they want to take things to the next level relationship wise and all that stuff, fam, just go out with them. I'm like, go out with them, go out on a date, test out the relationship, whatever it is that you need to do. Just test it out, all right? See how it works out. But it's like putting that person in a mindset where it's like, okay, now their heart's broken. They don't know how to think. They, you know, just thinking crazy and stuff. I'm like, nobody should have to go through that. So anyways, and that, or if it's on some stuff where it's all, you know, if they're all like, they ain't tripping about any things, then yeah, okay, cool. But if, you know, but yeah, like I said, just test it out and see how things go. And if it goes bad, then it's like, okay, relationship ain't working now. But I'm saying it's, and it's one, and I know people will probably say like, you know, what would I say about the second uh, girl and stuff? I'm like, hey, and she finds herself in the same situation as the first girl, then I'm like, fam, that's on you. And that's something where I'm like, and I told myself that because I know people probably ask that question. It's all, you know, or even because I've talked on it before where it's all like, you know, uh, being with the person that broke your heart. And I'm all like, you know, at a point in time, I probably would have said, yeah, you know, it's like I, I, I probably would. I'm at a point in time in my life now where I'm all like, nah, it's just the people that's out here causing the harm. I'm out here cutting out people that ain't did nothing to me. I'm like, nah, I got to cut out the people that's out here, you know, doing stuff to me and things. So, yeah, I was all like with um with both girls. I was like, you know, at one point in time, I would call them a friend. But I was like, nah, I'm all like, you know, it's if I see them out in public, it's like, hey, how you doing? Cool. Moving on with my life. I'm like, I'm not I'm not here to have no life friendly conversation. I'm just like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, cool. And then just being like moving, moving on with my life. You know, it might not even be that. It might just be all like, I just keep on walking and act like I don't see them. Cause I'm like, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where I'm like, look, you know, I, I try to be that person where I'm like, I, you know, I try not to hold grudges and all that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, people, they, I just feel like they'll do stuff. And it's like, fam, like, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm sorry, but I'm like, I, I can't do that to somebody. Like, the stuff people done done and said to me, I can't be that person. So, I'm like, if anything, you know, I'm, I might not be as forgiving as I should be, but at least I know that I won't turn around and do that stuff, you know, to others and things. And if I catch myself doing it, I got to change that, you know, so anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening stay tuned for the next episode make sure you like and subscribe and view this on po- on youtube make sure you follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service i yeah bro i should be asleep right now because i'm like my again that whole topic got my mind all confused so but anyways thank you guys and peace